Hello friends the Indian Moon Mission refers to the lunar exploration missions developed by the Indian Space Research Organization. The first mission, Chandrayaan-1, was launched in 2008 and discovered water on the moon. The second mission, Chandrayaan-2, was launched in 2019 and consisted of an orbiter, a lander, and a rover. The lander crashed during the landing attempt, but the orbiter is still operational. The third mission, Chandrayaan-3, was recently launched in the 14th of July 2023 and carried a landing module and a rover. The Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft with an orbiter, lander and a rover lifted off from Sriharikota Space Center. The lander is due to reach the moon on the 24th of August. If successful, India will be only the fourth country to achieve a soft landing on the moon, after the US, the former Soviet Union and China. India's space program dates back more than six decades, to when it was a newly independent republic and a deeply poor country reeling from a bloody partition. When it launched its first rocket into space in 1963, the country was no match for the ambitions of the US and the former Soviet Union, which were way ahead in the space race. Now, India is the world's most populous nation and its fifth largest economy. It boasts a burgeoning young population and is home to a growing hub of innovation and technology. And India's space ambitions have been playing catch-up under Prime Minister Narendra Modi. For him, India's space program is a symbol of the country's rising prominence on the global stage. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission to the moon is a follow-up to the 2019 Chandrayaan-2 mission, which partially failed after its lander and rover couldn't execute a soft landing on the moon. The main objectives of the Chandrayaan-3 mission are to demonstrate safe and soft landing on the surface of the moon, demonstrate rover operations on the moon, conduct in situ scientific experiments on the lunar surface, continue the exploration of the lunar surface and expand our understanding of Earth's closest celestial neighbor. The landing site of Chandrayaan-3 is near the south pole of the moon at 70 degrees latitude. The Chandrayaan-3 will takes almost 40 days to reach the moon while previous mission like Apollo mission takes 4 days. The question rises why Chandrayaan-3 takes 40 days and the answer is simple that the trajectory chosen by ISRO have some limitations. The Apollo moon mission uses direct trajectory known as translunar injection.in This phenomenon powerful Saturn V launch vehicles propelled the Apollo spacecraft into Earth orbit and from where single engine take the spacecraft toward moon. But Chandrayaan-3 follow different trajectory. The mission uses series of different Earth orbit and gradually increase the speed of spacecraft and position for lunar insertion. If everything goes well, Chandrayaan-3 will become the world's first mission to soft land near the lunar south pole. All previous spacecraft that have landed on the moon have landed in the equatorial region, a few degrees latitude north or south of the lunar equator. India's space program has been playing catch-up under Prime Minister Narendra Modi. For him, India's space program is a symbol of the country's rising prominence on the global stage. India has spent about $75 million on its Chandrayaan-3 mission. At the end India's Chandrayaan-3 mission to the moon is an ambitious project with several objectives. It aims to demonstrate India's capabilities in space exploration and expand our understanding of Earth's closest celestial neighbor. If successful, it will be a significant achievement for India's space program. Thanks for watching the video. Also don't forget to subscribe.